Hey everybody, I'm uh, going to do a video real quick on this guy. I wanted to share this video that he posted because it's pretty important to see. He talks about conspiracy theories. Uh, I don't think there's any theory involved in it. Sorry about my glare here on the uh, screen, but I'll do my best to give you a nice clear video. Maybe I could stand up or something cover up some of that glare but anyway I'm gonna let him go and show you what happened to this guy through PSA and uh, then I might do some comments in between but check it out and share it with your friends if you're you know share it on Facebook whatever you can here we go so this guy basically Oh, here you go. Hey, how's it going out there? Just wanted to do a quick video today. It's actually going to be a two-part video. Uh, I've been collecting a long time, and uh, recently I had received a express order submission back from PSA. And to my major disappointment, the grades were not in line with the condition of the cart, which I will go through here momentarily. So. With that being said, uh, I'm going to show the cards and the grades that I was given, and which I strongly disagree with and cannot see reasons for the grades given, uh, unless I were to point to the ongoing conspiracy theories or uh, other rumors that are going on that the PSA has lost some of their integrity and are manipulating their pop reports along with giving certain grades to or for certain cards or certain grades to certain submitters and not being fair and objective in the grading of each individual card on their own merits so the cards All right, so we're back and now showing the actual cards in question. So uh, I'm going to try to do this as best I can and as close as I can. So we're going to start out with the LeBron James Rookie 2003. 221, it's as iconic rookie card, uh, one of several, obviously. And it, it, I, I acknowledge on this one that there is some centering from top to bottom. Left to right, uh, it seems to be spot on, but there is a hair top to bottom. Um, back looks clean, edges look clean, corners look clean. And so going into this, I'm like, hmm, eight or better would be, I guess, worst case scenario. And uh, leave it to PSA to give me a five on the card. A five. Excellent, but uh, very much disappointment and very much, t in my opinion, after thoroughly reviewing the card, does not do it justice with the actual condition, centering, picture, eye appeal, corners, edges, surface of the card. So, that's the first one. Next one. Now, this one. <laughs> um centering left right centering top bottom seems to be spot on which is you know one of the toughest things to do with these cards you know maybe a little heavy on the top but uh corners edges surface once again a uh, beautiful card lebron james rookie iconic card and uh, subjective grade of a six and i have gone on ebay have gone online and have found at least 20 examples of cards with worse centering, uh, worse pictures, uh, basically just, and they're all eights or above. Uh, this one here, I thought had a shot. I thought it had a shot at the, the, the top spot. At the very worst, uh, you know, being fair, I would say 8.5, but the expectation was that this would come back a nine. Uh, to my disappointment, it comes back a six. Keep in mind, I didn't put any minimum grades on these cards. Uh, this was the first time I actually submitted Express. Usually, I would submit bulk order, but that obviously is on hold with everything. So, a six. Very shocked. Next card, 
2005 Bowman's Best Aaron Rodgers Rookie Card Autograph. This card, another beauty. I mean, I can't even... You know, the luster's good, corners. Uh, I get it, these are tough because they're dark cards. Um, I combed over it, looked over it. Um, you know, there's... It, it's just a beautiful beautiful card and um, it came back a four <laughs> no other fours exist on the pop report for PSA the only other the lowest other rate is a seven so I don't know what I did wrong but I think someone was having a bad day or maybe it's because I didn't put the little tabs to pull out of the uh, card savers in my submission uh, but someone blatantly uh, gave me a subjective grade that is not warranted in any way on the card. And I even called PSA and asked them to say, can you please explain, is there any notes? Did they make a mistake? Should it have been a, a 9 and a 9? A 9 uh, grade with an auto 9? You know, was that you know just something that, you know, that the 4 was supposed to be a 9 and they just accidentally put the 4 there? And, they just said, there's no notes, uh, sorry, you know, wish I could help you, or you can resubmit it for a review. Uh, I honestly want to give them the benefit of the doubt that that four was supposed to be a nine, because it just doesn't make any sense at all. Most of PSA right. grades don't make sense. Yes, yeah, cool. cool. Last one. So this is a, you know, obviously these are PC cards of mine. Um, Wanted to get him slapped. Uh, they're actually this is lucky. The top's finest if you get a good, you know, obviously accurate grade, or PSA's rail card. lucky. Uh, sure isn't skill on their grade. I looked over the card. It looks, you know, you can look at the corners. You can look at the surface. You can look at the centering. Um, and it comes back a seven. Once again, the lowest ever recorded on a pop re re recorded on a pop report PSA. Like, so why is it that me, individual collector, uh, gets uh, the seven? Because uh, I'm not, you know, a big time auction house dealer broker, whatever you want to call it. You know, I don't know, I don't know, but those four cards. The two Rodgers rookies, the two LeBron rookies, uh, they will all be cracked and resubmitted to a company that I can rely on to give objective grading. So, and, you know, the options are that, or, or, you know, a BGS, see if they do it, um, SGC, uh, see if they would give me an objective grade. Uh, or um, HGA, take the subjectivity out of it. Um, and actually, I think, you know, uh, with just uh, everything that's going on and you know, Beckett being the way they are and the pricing and the limits, um, SGCA, SGC being a good company and, you know, they all have their own merits. But uh, I think I'm going to recrack them and send them all to uh, HGA and see if I can get some honest, objective rates. It's interesting. So, he goes to in. HGA uh, I part for two of this video. some honest uh, grades. When I that get tells these you uh, sent out. To uh, tell you the truth, I don't think he's uh, wrong about HGA it. With the grades, uh, these four iconic cards of the arguably Hall of Famers that for some reason or another had very subjective grades from PSA. More to follow. Thanks all. Okay, now he puts part in part all two right, we're in back here. And I, what I wanted to do was just go through the cards one more time because they are now cracked out of the uh, the cases, uh, as you can see. But uh, just give you a better idea of like why I'm willing to do this when looking at the cards. So um, we'll start out with the LeBron, right? Uh, and I know the camera, you know, it's behind the camera, but as you can see, it's very, 
it's just no way this card This goes buy. to show too no but that we can grade cards. We can look at a card and six. see if it's a good and card. Or looks we are not all idiots dots. and that's I think what PSA thinks or you know a lot of people even state that themselves that they, they trust so, PSA for their see. grade when the you can lodges. not see anything Very wrong with the cards. I mean, just... Yeah. What's really funny is I see the biggest, <laughs> largest group enough. submitter going they into PSA. <laughs> and they get like 80% tens. Just looking for an honest grade. And then the top's finest rookie, Rogers. Then a guy like this has a perfect looking card. card, gets a four. So yeah, so those are the four, four cracked out, getting ready to get them uh, uh, packed up into the uh, card savers, baggied and uh, off to HGA, and um, getting honest grades in return, and that'll be the uh, next part of the video. So. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks. So, this will be part three coming up. All right. Hello again, everyone. Uh, we did receive our submission back. I'm gonna turn today. him up a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and reveal those and see if there's truly some difference here in subjective grading, which we saw in the case of PSA, and um, objective grading, uh, which we're hoping is the case here with the HGA uh, submission we received back. So, let's go ahead and get going. All right, so let's get going with the cards. I already took the liberty of cutting them open just from a time standpoint. Please take a look at my video uh, earlier on PSA's right, poor grading so practices. I, I mean, they can take nice cards and give them bad grades, but they could also put tens on cards that deserve a much lesser grade, maybe a seven or... All right, so this Our is lower. LeBron James. I can tell by the center, and this was the PSA 5. PSA 5 LeBron James rookie looked very nice. Just no way it could have been a 5. 9. 9 mint LeBron okay, James rookie. Okay, that's 4 nine, complete nine, points nine, from eight, a 5 nine. to a 9. Beautiful card. Iconic rookie card. And... PSA and would have probably graded it a 9 or a 10 themselves. If you just submitted it to at a different Next time to a different person or LeBron through uh, so this one a big grader. Is the, was the PSA 6 9 mint subgrades 95999 nine, nine, true mint beautiful card and that's another problem with PSA. There is no subgrade. You never know what and to now look an for. honest grade for this type of card. Iconic rookie card. And LeBron. Once again, that was a PSA 5 and 6. Now 9 mints. Alright, next one. Okay, this is going to be the top's finest Rogers autograph. If you recall, this they, was a, PSA four. Gave a seven oh. uh, grade and an eight auto. So we can go with the back right away. I guess and the that last is a went. nine auto. So that's already more honest than the one I received. 8.5 near mint plus Aaron Rodgers, top finest autograph rookie. Corners 9, edges 9.5, centering 9, surface 7.5. You know, on these silver cards, you know, that's something, you know, they saw in there. But I can handle that. I can take that. It's an honest grade. You know, and, you know, the honest grade for the card. An iconic rookie card. And last but certainly not least, that leaves us with the Bowman's Best. Now this one, this one was the one that really just insulted me uh, as a collector. That a company would give a card that I would even send in uh, from a you know from the modern era that would get a 
four, but that's what they gave me, a four on this card. A PSA four. And that was actually the, the driver on why I was like, I just can't believe it. There's no way. There's just no way. So, without any delay, the auto came in a nine. And the grade, mint. Nine point oh. I'm going to turn off his comment to Terry now, just so you know the grades that he got, and tell you a little bit about Aaron Rodgers, what I'm doing, and uh, what we and can do at this card. I mean, it's just so to change this and then, and then, because yeah, this is just insanity. Everybody has their favorite cards. This obviously is something for. I will put uh, see, the. To be insulted. I'll put the uh, link to this video and to some of my videos down below just so you can see. But PSA, you know, I don't know why anybody is using them. You, any of you want to comment to me, please go ahead because it's just, there's no reason whatsoever. They do not provide the service that you pay for. Plain and simple. If you put in a 20-day order back in last October and are just getting it back, you should not have to pay for that. There shouldn't be up charges. They should be giving it to you. It's like, you know, if, if you bought a card from me, say it was, say I put a picture of this card right here in my ad, and then when I sent it to you, it had Dean Corners and was all scratched up, you'd want your money back, right? Well, why not with HGA or with uh, PSA and their, uh, their just poor grading practices? You know, it's just crazy that people keep going back and keep going back. You'll send back cards that get an 8 and, or a 7 and then you'll bring it back and it's a 10 when you send it back in again. So you paid twice, you waited twice for a grade that you know is poor because they already graded it once wrong, apparently, or the second time wrong. Either one, one of them is wrong. And then you're gonna sell this eight to somebody else and you're a ripoff just like a PSA is. It's crazy. So please share this video I'm going to be using a company called Transparent Grading Team, and uh, I have a video on that. Uh, what, they, what they're going to be doing is they'll take photos of your cards, and uh, this is just the cards I'm submitting to them. I'm going pretty hard on them because they're... I'm sending in over a hundred cards just to, you know, get a fair reference as to what, you know, what different cards grade like. I've tried a pure graded X. They did pretty well, but, but right now I'm waiting on my second order and it's getting a little bit late and, and so they aren't sticking to what they said they would do either. So, uh. Transparent grading team, uh, they take pictures front and back of your card, then they take it in infrared for surfacing, and uh, they do one with the centering tool on there. So uh, that way you could see the centering, you could see any surface issues, then they'll mark the card and uh, actually show you where the issues were along with uh, some notes from whoever graded your card and so you'll see exactly why your card got the grade it did now most of these cards I went through there's going to be a, couple, a few of my cards that have an issue here or there just because I wanted to check and, and see how they grade different cards but most of my cards will be checked over real nice they'll be clean good cards and uh, I think most of them should do pretty well 
I did have some concerns with uh, transparent grading team after seeing exactly how they grade cards and I think I mentioned to them that I thought it was too much uh, you know magnification when they were grading because nobody could really see that but they have uh, we talked they actually called me on a conference call the owners and we talked about it and they're putting some things into place. They also are going to make a, a standard label that I suggested because I've been watching, you know, people talk about HDA and stuff like that and just wishing that they'd have a standard label. And so that will be fixed here at, at Transparent Grading Team. They will have actually two different labels, one that's black and one that's white. So you could either get, you know, all the darker ones or all the the white ones which would be nice for like uh, subsets or full sets or if you just want to keep all your cards with the same label so that they all match you know for you if that's your thing then you can get it so that's a good thing and so uh, right now my cards are in for beta I think they're beta testing that they're gonna slab them up and send them back to me and then they are going to be opening up I think to the public next month or towards the end of this month uh, they're going to announce it at the Dallas card show I believe so whenever that is, is when they'll be doing that but please share that guy's video and share this video if you want because people need to know about transparent grading they're going to change everything they have a these are basically they they came off of the pure graded x where they have the custom labels they have some theirs will be different of course regular uh, labels and then pure custom and then uh, more custom labels but they also have uh, like I said the standard labels and an acetate label that is patent pending so they really have quite the choice for you. You get free uh, subgrades, so every card gets a subgrade and you don't get upcharge for it. All the cards are charged by the card. You get a discount the more you send in. And, you know, it's just a good way to do business. There's no, no way to be preferential if you're, you know, charging the same amount for every card you don't want somebody only to send in real high-end cards then they'll get better grades or anything like that so but anyway uh, there's some info on transparent grading team I really like the fact that they talked to me about the issues that I had they actually had a conference call and we discussed it and they're gonna they're they're implementing changes because of it so you know that says something right there that they listen and they are a new company just like HDA this guy used HDA to get a more honest grade than PSA which is supposed to be the trusted company in the industry and I just don't see it you you can't pay for a product that you do not get they should not be charging you if they are not giving you the product it's that simple and then when you look at their poor grading practices you look at their you know possible card trimming uh, all kinds of stuff that they do I mean just the list is endless so I'm looking forward to to a new company getting in there and taking you know taking the top spot because PSA has not deserved it for a very long time and I to be you know a hundred percent honest and clear I have never ever used PSA and the reason I haven't because I just got back into the hobby after a long time having my cards up in the storage in my house and I came back looking to see what company to grade with and all I saw was issue after issue after issue because I was uh, 
recommended to go through PSA so I looked into them and it, I mean everywhere I turned it was more and more and more problem and I mean just the wait time alone uh, is a deal breaker for me personally but then uh, now I'm seeing that their you know competence is going down in PSA and their prices the their return on investment is pretty well gone I mean especially at two hundred dollars a card or whatever it is right now it's it's gone really and uh, when people start seeing how poorly they really grade you know like this video here they will the trust will be gone and I know a lot of you have invested a lot of money into PSA slabs and you know maybe at one time they were okay but I think more than likely it was just because they gave out tens like you know and they still do I mean they give tens out to certain people I was watching the top submitter and he got 22 straight tens and then a nine and then 15 more tens so yeah and then this you know then the normal guys like this guy that's in this video this is sort of an extreme case but you know, they'll get 8s, 7s, 9s, and maybe 2% 10s, but the big submitter ended up with over 80% 10s on his order of, you know, like 200 and something cards. So it just goes to show you that PSA is not fair, they're not impartial, They, you pay for your grades pretty much, and, uh, you know, you don't get what you pay for you know people are just now getting 20 day orders back that they sent in December and November and October of last year so you're paying a premium for a 20 day return and you get it back nine ten months later that right there should be unacceptable but anyway thanks for listening to my it's sort of a rant people would say but it's not really it's just the fact PSA is terrible and the sooner people get away from them the better because it's just <clears throat> to to make people like that rich by keeping submitting cards to them is is a travesty it's you know they do not deserve it they do not do a good job they don't even do a fair job they should be down at the bottom of the graders. But anyway, thanks for listening. You guys, uh, if you like it, hit the like button. If not, hit dislike. Give me comments. Uh, tell me why PSA is so good. Because I do not see it. And I can, I will counter any of you and show you. I'll give you a video or ten to disprove what you say. Because... They are no good at grading. Go look at my video about how poor the PSA 10, and I didn't even look for one. All I was doing was comparing my card to a PSA 10. And uh, it was terrible. It was much worse than my 8.5. So, But I see that all the time. And uh, just the other way around, too. Beautiful cards in a PSA 8 case, you know. So if I was going to buy a PSA card, I'd buy an 8 or lower because you don't pay the premium. And uh, then I'd crack it out and send it to a decent grading company, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Because PSA is going to go, it is, as far as I can see, they should go down in flames because the, the amount of fraud and, you know, just stealing people's money and not providing the service that they paid for is uh, it's astronomical the you know if you went out to dinner and they never brought your dinner for you know four hours you wouldn't go back there but you keep going back to PSA and people keep going back and paying and even cracking them out sending them back again for a different grade how much sense does that make you know zero it tells you right then if they give you a different grade on the same exact card that they're crappy graders period 
So why send your card to a crappy grader and especially why send it there twice and pay twice and wait twice instead of just getting a good grade from a good grading company. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Tell me I'm an idiot, whatever you like. Uh, but most of all, just collect what you like. And, you know, listen to me or don't. I don't care. You can send in all your stuff to PSA. I just won't be doing it. Thanks again, guys, and uh, enjoy collecting.